This is what Italy's longest and most important river, the Po, looks like right now, parched and at dangerously low levels. Its water provides the lifeblood for farmers who produce Italy's most valuable crops. Walking through his field of stunted corn, farmer Adriano Tugnolo, the son and grandson of corn growers, shows us the damage wrought by the drought. This year this corn will just be thrown away, all because of the drought, because it hasn't rained in months. This year is totally ruined. Downriver, where the Po empties into the Adriatic, engineer Rodolfo Lorenti shows us how the current is running in reverse, from the sea to the land, because the river is so low. Looking over maps, he shows me how salt water is entering nearby farmland. Lorenti says salt water barriers are failing because they weren't built for such dangerously low river levels. He regularly monitors the salt levels in the river. He has never seen it this bad. It's now registering 25 grams per liter. That means it's seawater, salt water. The level here should be one gram per liter to be able to distribute to farmers. And the effect of so much salt water incursion? Burnt crops, worthless and withering in the field. Many fields poisoned by salt water may not even produce crops next year. It's not just a problem for agriculture. Mussel farmer Paolo Mancin says he'll lose 30% of his harvest from this lagoon on the Po Delta this year. These mussels are all dead. Fresh water from the Po hasn't made it here, so they just die. Scenes like this are increasingly common along the Po. Whole areas usually covered by water now exposed, turned into beaches or islands of sand in the middle of where the river usually flows. And those who provide water to farmers in the Po Valley say they're not just worried about this summer's crops, but about years to come. A once-in-a-lifetime drought shows how life could change here forever. If we lose this resource we have had for centuries, we'll have to abandon our excellent crops. We'd give up our whole cultural heritage. A frightening prospect as people here and millions of others around the world struggle to adapt to a changing climate. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, in the Po Valley of Northern Italy.